Hey Jackals, today I'll show you a couple of different ways how you can apply an overlay of a video on top of another video or an overlay of an effect that you made in the Fusion page by using DaVinci Resolve. Now let's get digital. One of the most common overlay videos that you can get is the one with the green screen or a black screen. In this case, I'll use this UFO, put it in the media pool, and then I can put it onto a timeline. Now to remove the green screen, you have a couple of options and I'll also put a background under it or I can just use another video. So you can remove this green screen in the edit page, which is what I have now in the fusion page or in the color page. In the edit page, you can go to effects, type in key, go to open effects and use the 3D keyer. Put it onto the clip. Then open the inspector tab and go to the effects tab that now opened up. And now you'll have to enable this option, open effects overlay, so that this will actually take an effect. And now you can simply drag this around the green screen. This will remove it mostly. And then you can adjust the matte finesse. Now these values are not set in stone. This will depend on the video clip that you use, but the option that you should enable is the dispel option. This will help immensely to get rid of anything green that is left. Now let's go with the second option, which is color page. You'll go to effects, type in key, and you'll basically repeat the process as we did in the edit page. This time effects is enabled. So you have to enable it as well. Now what you'll have to do here is right click add an alpha output and connect this to the alpha output. The spill, this pretty much gets rid of everything and then you can also adjust the mat to what you want. And if we do this in the fusion page, you'll use control space or shift space to open the select tools, type in key. As you can see in the fusion page, you have a lot more keyers. So if one doesn't work, you can use another one. Then hold shift to automatically connect it once you have a blue line and then just repeat the process. This time you don't have to enable anything to make the selection and as for the output, well it's a little bit different as what it was with these two clips. So use the dispel and that pretty much gets rid of the problem. So depending on the page that you use this, you'll we'll have different kind of adjustments to do. Now let's make a simple fusion animation and how you can use that in other projects. You'll have a couple of options. I'll go into the media pool, right click, make a new fusion composition, put it onto a timeline. Now I'll simply make an ellipse with animation and I can change the color to somewhat whitish. I'll make the ellipse smaller and position it to the bottom left. And then I'll simply animate the center position. So it does something like this. Now currently the fusion composition is black and that is because I don't have anything beneath it. But if I put a video clip beneath it, you can see that this is transparent. Now what can also happen if you have a background at the end, maybe connect it like this. Now in this case, this will be black because the background is black. So in the background, you can always change the color. And if the color is black and you set the alpha to zero, then you'll make a transparent background. Now, if you want to save this fusion composition that you spent a lot of time on, you can make a macro out of this. I do have a video on how to make macros, but because each one is unique, I can say which options you have to enable or disable that is up to you to decide. But what you do have to do is select all of the nodes except the media out, right click, macro, make one, enable all of the options that you want. Yes, this can be a lot of checking the checkboxes. Then go to file. I do suggest you use save as group because if you make any mistakes or want to make some changes down the line, you can do so if you use save as group which is not possible out of the box if you use just save. Then you'll want to go back to Fusion, 
templates, and then you have to decide, is this a Fusion composition that you use inside the Fusion page, or will it go into the Edit page? And then you also decide, is this an effect, generator, a title, or a transition? Usually this would be a title. Now let's save it. Then if I go back, and in Effects, I can type in 2D, go to Toolbox, and nothing shows up. I probably would have to restore the winch resolve. But I do have another macro here that I can simply put onto the timeline. In this case, the background is black. What you can do, if you can change anything else, is go to the settings and apply the composite mode, probably to add, maybe screen or lighten. This of course affects the actual images as well, not just the black background. You can of course also use the 3D keyer in the actual title. And this time we'll just remove the black. You can also use the dispel if you want. In this case, it's not what I would want. And lastly, if you save the macro with the save as group option, you can go into the fusion page. You can now double click the macro tool, but if this was used with the save option, you wouldn't be able to open this. So double click. And in the background, as you can see, the background is set to black and not transparent. So I can simply make this adjustment, go back, and now it's transparent. Now this is one way how you can save this, but what you can also do is use an adjustment clip, put it down to a timeline. Now I haven't really tested it out if this has been fixed, but what you had to do is put this adjustment clip into the master bin, remove this one from the timeline, put this one back in, and I will simply go to this fusion composition and copy this composition into the adjustment clip. And what the adjustment clip does is basically it applies over all of the clips that are beneath it. Now in this case, the background is black, even though it should be transparent, as you can see. Now we can still use the 3D keyer, but we can just use it on the adjustment clip we would first have to make a new compound clip out of this, and then we can use the 3D keyer to get the same result as what we have here. And what I also wanted to show you, go back to the adjustment clip, is that you can enable the power bins. To show the power bin, you have to open the media pool and click on the three dots and use show power bin. Now what Power Bin does, it allows you to use the same effects that you make, titles, transitions, and so on, in different projects. So I'll use this adjustment clip, put it in, under the master, and I'll also use this fusion composition. And then I have a new project open. As you can see, these two files are visible within this project. And now if I put the adjustment clip in, and also the fusion clip in, I'll just use a solid background and change the color so it's not black. The adjustment clip works like before, it does have the black background. So in this case I could just adjust the composite mode to add or make a compound clip out of it and then use the 3D keyer to get rid of the black background. And what about the fusion composition? I guess it works as well. I do know for a fact that in previous versions of DaVinci Resolve, this did not work and that is why we had to use the adjustment clip as a workaround. And that's how you can apply all kinds of overlay effects on top of another video. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and until next time Jackals, keep it digital.